Hello guys and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. Today we are going to discuss the ninth sign in the zodiac belt and the, of course the ninth sign is Sagittarius, the teacher, the guru of the zodiac signs. Let's start now. If you want to know how to find the guru, how to find the teacher, the best life teacher for you, you have to check uh, where the Sagittarius is placed in your chart. I'm going to do that at the end of the video after discussing the whole sign. We will proceed like the other signs uh, with the agenda, with the topics that we're going to discuss. But at uh, the end I'm going to draw the North uh, uh, Indian chart and uh, I'm going to discuss few sectors where you can find Sagittarius and what does it mean for you and of course it will be very useful for me if you just if you make a comment and say whether it is true for you if you have for example Sagittarius in the fourth house did you, do you have uh, is your mother like a uh, guru or teacher for you for example I'm going to discuss this at the end just uh, just a small uh, just a small uh, glimpse, glimpse of what we are going to do at the end, okay? So the motto of the Sagittarius, what is the motto of the Sagittarius? You know what, this is the teacher, this is the guru, so if you want you can pause now the video and you can write a comment what is the motto of the Sagittarius according to the Vedic Astrology without checking in, net, in uh, Google or in, on, online. Okay, so you can pause now the video and make a comment what is the motto, the phrase that describes uh, Sagittarius according to you. Do it now. <laughs> okay, I hope you pause the video. Yeah, uh, so the motto is I guide, that's why these are the best teachers and the best uh, professors, people with strong Sagittarius in the chart, they are really good in teaching. So the element of uh, yeah, the name is the, the Sanskrit name. I forgot to say the Sanskrit name is Danu. The element is, of course, fire, but this is purifying fire. This fire cleans this through religion, through knowledge, through philosophy. This fire is purifying fire. Quality is dual sign with the Virgo, with uh, Pisces, and with Gemini. This is a dual sign. Guna, of course, this is a Sattva sign. Uh, Satwik sign, I'm sorry. The symbol is horseman holding, horseman holding a bow, half human, half horse. That's why if you have Sagittarius ascendant, it will be... Um, um, you, have two, uh, you have Gemini for the seventh house, uh, which is your spouse. And most of the times you have to break, you break up before getting really together. For example, you have uh, your Sagittarius Ascendant, you find someone you love, but you break up. Most of the cases you break up and after this you come back together. After time probably. Uh, symbol, yeah, the gender is male. Own sign, Jupiter is the owner of this sign. There is no, and it is the Mutricon sign for the, for the Jupiter. Um, there is no planet that is exalted or debilitated in Sagittarius. The body parts are the buttocks, the tights and the hips. These are the body parts and if you, of course if you have malefics there this means that you may have problems with your feet, with your buttocks or uh, with your thighs. Okay, the nakshatra is Mua, Purva Shada, Iutara Shada. Mua is one of the most destructive nakshatras and when Ketu is in Mua, it always brings destruction. Mua means roots, as you probably know from the Mutricon sign. Mutricon sign comes from Mua, Mua, which is the roots. And every time Ketu is in Mua, it takes out the roots in order to place other, other roots or to place something else. So, if you have strong Sagittarius and especially your ascendant is in Mua, this means that in your life you have to change yourself, change your roots. You have to rule the problem in order to be happy. So, what are, what are the words that describes, um, that describes Sagittarius? Religion, luck, 
philosophy, optimism, education, higher knowledge. Gemini is the daily communication. Jupiter, uh, Sagittarius, I'm sorry. Sagittarius is the uh, higher knowledge. It is the religious uh, communication, uh, the philosophy, the philosophy, the philosophy, uh, optimism, where Sagittarius is this expansion. So wherever you meet, you have uh, Sagittarius, there will be expansion. Jupiter brings expansion. Um, what else? Wisdom is the other thing. Sagittarius is very wise sign. Laws, law of life and written law is the other thing that Sagittarius rules. Mm. Books, especially that are related to philosophy and religion. Long, long distance travels, uh, long distance traveling, uh, pilgrimage, uh, traveling because of uh, religion. Uh, biology is the other thing that Sagittarius rules. Theology, freedom. Sagittarius is very free sign. That's why it's a little bit difficult to find a spouse if you have uh, strong Sagittarius, especially in the first or in the seventh house. Of course, this is very spiritual sign. Jupiter is a spiritual planet and it rules spiritual signs like Sagittarius and signs like Pisces. They are very, very spiritual signs. Of course, Guru, teachers, professors. Uh, Jupiter shows, if you are a female, Jupiter will show you your spouse. Oh, but we're speaking about Sagittarius. So, <laughs> but the ruler of um, the Sagittarius will show you the spouse. So, guru, teachers, professors, um, temples, did I say temples? Schools, uh, universities are ruled by Sagittarius. I can say that Sagittarius really uh, reflects what is Jupiter, reflects the wisdom of Jupiter. And this is important to know. So that's why this is the Mutricon sign of Jupiter. This is the roots of Jupiter. Sagittarius is the roots, are the, is the roots of Jupiter. That's why it's very wise sign. It's very phil philosophical sign. It's very religious sign, spiritual sign. And of course, education, higher education. So if you want to know how to find your guru, you have to check where is the Sagittarius in your chart. If the Sagittarius is in your 12th house, this means that your guru has to be foreigner or he can come from a foreign land or it can be from your country but living in a foreign land. If, for example, you're, you have Sagittarius in 4th house, this means that your mother can be um, your guru can be your teacher, but just remember that teacher doesn't always um, doesn't always mean a good teacher. It depends on the planet, depends on many other factors. It can be a bad teacher, or it can give lessons, good lessons, but with uh, from it can give you a good lessons, but it can be a bad teacher, and uh, it can give you a bad lessons. If you have uh, a lot of, for example, Keto and Sagittarius, this planet, this may, it may make you a lot of dogmatic person or even obsessive about religion and philosophy that can um, create problems in your life and you can be, you can even become a terrorist. Depend, if you have a lot of malefics in Sagittarius, you can become even a terrorist. So, So, everything depends on your chart. As I told you at the beginning, I'll be very happy if you can write a comment what uh, you, uh, where is your Sagittarius in which house and uh, if uh, it resem resembles in some way, if there you can find your teacher or there you can find your guru or if Sagittarius in your third house, maybe your siblings can be your teacher. Okay, they can be they can have bad attitude towards you, but they can teach you something or they can be very good and they can guide you. They can give you good advices. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I'm waiting your comments 
and next uh, zodiac sign is Capricorn. See you soon. Hey you, you beautiful YouTuber. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. I want you to invite you to become part of the family of astrology coaching by Anatoly and together, together like a big online family, we're going to make our dreams come true. We're going to change our lives thanks to astrology and spiritual coaching. New videos are coming every, every week. This is just the beginning. So we together, we are going to make our dreams come true and like, and like the lotus flower, we will rise from the mud of our pain and we will blossom in happiness and fulfillment. Thank you for watching and see you soon.